welcome back to my channel Math in Language and we're going to discuss how to calculate consumer and producer surplus. So, sa previous video natin, inalam natin kung paano hanapin yung market equilibrium. Ngayon, hanapin naman natin paano yung consumer and producer surplus. So, the first thing you do is, syempre may mga equation na sa'yo bibigay. So, yung quantity demanded ay ganito. Example lang to. At yung QS daw ay ganito. Yung picture, uh, yung graph is not drawn to scale, ha? Okay? So, the first thing you do, pag hindi pa nabibigay yung market equilibrium, kailangan mo kasi mahanap yung P star or Q star or yung price equilibrium at quantity equilibrium. So, remember, para hanapin yung market equilibrium, i-equal mo muna itong dalawa. So, that will be 600 minus 2P equal to 4P. And, eto algebra lang to, 6P, and P is equal to 100. So, alam natin, tong P store na to, that will be 100. Para naman tong Q store. So, pag Q store naman, yung, alam natin ang P ay 100, diba? I-substitute natin tong 100 dito sa QD or QS. So, either of the two. So, QS na lang. So, Pag QS, that will be 4 times 100. So, that will be 400. So, ang Q star natin ay 400. Okay? Ngayon, ano ba yung consumer surplus? Ang consumer surplus natin ay ito. Above siya dun sa market price, which is this one, na 100. Pero below siya ng demand curve. So, ito yun. So, triangle. Okay? Ang producer surplus naman, yung area, yung area below the price, ah, sorry, er, yung, er, yung producer surplus, ito yun, yung area dito. Below siya ng market price at above siya ng supply curve. So, ito yun, color blue. So, paano natin hanapin yung area na to? Kailangan natin malaman ito, yung mga P-intercept. So, ito at ito. So, paano ba hanapin ito? Kailangan mong iset sa zero. Diba, ito yung QD nagtatouch to dito, diba? Kailangan mong iset sa zero to Kasi, diba, zero QD. E di, algebra lang yan. Itong QD is equal to 600 minus 2P. Zero mo yan. That will be 600 minus 2P. That will be 2P is equal to 600. At P is equal to 300. So, this one, alam natin na ito ay 300. Ngayon, paano naman itong dito? Kailangan mo din kasi malaman to para makuha mo yung area ng triangle. Ganyan. Equal mo sa 0, ito, yung QS. So, yung QS, 0 is equal to Sorry, using ko lang sulat ko. Equal to 4P. So, alam natin na P ay 0. So, mas madali na to. 0 lang to. Okay? Ngayon, para mahanap mo yung area ng triangle, that will be... Okay. Area ng triangle I P times height over 2. So, ito yun, di ba? Hmm. Ito yung height. So, 300 at 100. So, alam natin na ito ay 200. Yung height. Yung base naman, from dito hanggang dito, that will be 400. So, ang base natin ay 400. So, area ng triangle, ito 400 to. I equal sa 200 times mo ng 400 at divide mo ng 2. Gamit ka ng calc na lang 200 times 400 80,000 divided by 2 40,000 Yes, yeah, so 40,000 Kung pesos yung Nandito, syempre uh, Pesos din to 40,000 pesos Yung area dito Sa consumer surplus Pag producer surplus naman Okay Producer surplus natin, that will be, ito 100 to, ito 0. So, technically, yung height is 100. So, this one is 100. At ang base natin ay 400 din. So, 100 times 1 ng 400. 
over 1 and 2. Gamit ka ng calc yung. And that will be 20,000. So yung producer surplus natin ay 20,000 pesos. Okay? And that's the end of the lesson on how to calculate consumer and producer surplus. If you have questions or comments, suggestions or comments, please comment down. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. Please support educational content. Salamat po. Bye! Oh.